Good evening, everyone. Some neighbors in Buffalo say a terror on four legs is keeping them afraid to even walk down their street. A pit bull has attacked at least twice, and now they want the city to take action. News 4's Trisha Cruz reports. Joey, Joey, come on. Bernice Roberts has a Yorkie Terrier, but we never got a chance to see him for more than a minute, and that was a quick peek underneath her bed. That's where he went to hide when he saw us. Roberts blames part of his trauma on a pit bull who lives across the street. He attacked Chewy and then shaking Chewy like a little rag doll. Another neighbor came to the rescue to free him just in time. Pictures of his injuries show deep bite marks from one ear to the other. Roberts tells us the pit bull also attacked Chewy when her teenage granddaughter was taking him for a walk. All of a sudden the dog, she said, leaped through the window and he grabs Chewy. Once again, some quick thinking neighbors came to his rescue. There's some people coming down the street. They managed to stop him with the with their cars, you know, like they were going to run over him. Buffalo Animal Control confirms it's received three phone calls about the pit bull. We stopped by the house where it lives to see if the owners were home when we noticed an open window right by the door. Since we didn't know if the pit bull was in the house, we stayed in the car and beeped the horn several times, hoping somebody would hear us and come out. No one did. It's a concern because there's children that come and visit neighbors around here. I have a seven-year-old. I mean, if it'll attack a little dog, it can attack a human. It's a dog. Is this making you afraid to go outside? With Chewy, yes. Bernice Roberts has spent nearly $1,000 on Chewy's injuries. The pit bull owners have apologized. Animal control is investigating. Now make sure you tune in to wake up for the latest developments on this case. We do expect to have more information tomorrow morning. Live in the newsroom, Trisha Cruz, News 4 at 11.